Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you update the form. Uh, so uh, first of all, mention some uh, global variables. And after that, we have four uh, button control. By using first button control, get the account number get the record by using account number and the second button control using we can get the account details by using their name property okay so uh, after that uh, retrieve the items retrieve the uh, single customer items and load the data grid control there is the right side in the right side when we click on the first button control by using their account number load the data grid control with using binding list okay so new binding list uh, with the uh, user accounts I want to get the user account by using their account number so uh, the main logic uh, which we apply on the when we click on the cell items on the data grid view then uh, all items uh, from the uh, user account table loaded into the controls like the text boxes and uh, date picker controls combo boxes etc so this button control is loaded to the data grid view control and the data grid view control when we click on the cell contents and the single cell uh, click event then all other controls like the text boxes are loaded okay so you can watch it the first button control that button control is only loaded data from a table to data grid okay that is decimal account number pick the account number from the uh, account text boxes and load the data grid view dot data source okay just check it and after that you can check it put some uh, account number that is the 10 digit account number and you successfully loaded your data grid view and when we click on the data cell content then all other uh, control that is date of birth states address are loaded okay and that item pick from the data grid view control okay that uh, second button is similar with the first button only the account number and you can change with the name okay so uh, both functions are similar actually so you can do also with the switch uh, switch statements because uh, here we have two button control but uh, yeah, both button control can uh, handle the same events uh, like uh, loaded the grid view so you can uh, check with the account text as well as the text of the text box control but uh, in this project I am handling uh, by using two button controls if uh, if you want to optimize your code you can use switch statements okay when we click on the cell click event you can also handle the cell content click okay then other control are loaded from the grid view control to from the data grid view uh, from the data grid to controls okay so here we have you know very well about the bank DB entities that is the data context and the account number is passed from the data grid view row 
which is selected from the uh, data grid by the user data grid view one dot row e dot row index dot cells of zero that is the default cell one is checked okay uh, on when we click on the cell one that is the account number defaultly okay then account number is assigned after account number is assigned you can get the items from the uh, database table first using first or default i mean to say that and that is the lambda expressions a uh, db entities with have user account table and using the where cause we can pass the account number that is getting from the data grid view control and search the item from the database table that first or default it means the first item search from the database tables getting from database table okay and after that one by one uh, is loaded from the database table you can say one by one uh, control is loaded from the database table like the name mother name father name phone number respect to their text boxes and controls you can say Similarly, you can add all these items and also you can uh, pick from the images because I want to load the image also that is picked from the database table in the form of the binary. So you can use the byte array to store the images. So memory stream is also used to read the byte array. So picture box one dot image equals to image dot from stream. Okay, MS. It's uh, quite simple. So uh, the all uh, other uh, radio buttons, the totally radio buttons is calculated uh, manually like the item dot gender equals to male because the, uh, you are getting items from the database table. So manually check which checkbox is checked uh, and uh, previously checked and uh, you can say that uh, the account holder identify the account holder genders marital status and respect their radio buttons is checked okay so it uh, it looking like a lengthy code but it's quite simple quite simple you know very well uh, it's a it's nothing to def uh, it's nothing to uh, worry about that code because it's quite simple So one by one uh, radio button is checked. If all uh, the radio button is checked, then you can update your records by you by pressing the update button. Also, you can delete the uh, um, items from that um, by when we press the delete button.
putting some number into the update form and check the details is successfully loaded into the other control yeah there is the other control is successfully loaded into the or other uh, from the database table and when we update uh, when we press uh, the update button the respective uh, update is changes in the database table so first of all uh, you can check you must to check uh, your uh, if you want to update the image of your uh, account holder then you do this or you can say that uh, how to save the image from uh, upload control or you can say that when we click on the button and open dialog is open and save the image in the form of the binary you can do this you learn carefully because uh, that uh, this image is saved in the form of the binary so use the memory stream picture box etc so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching my all other videos and also subscribe my channel if you like this video please 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 i request you subscribe my channel because without your subscription uh, my moral is down and uh, uh, i will not carry the further videos so if you subscribe lots of people i um, increase my moral and uh, i will do more videos about uh, windows form okay so thank you very much for watching this that code is uh, remove the entries from the data grid so must to use the binding list if you want to remove your entries from the data grid because that collection is uh, that collection is uh, used to remove the items uh, use the re uh, removes to item from uh, data grid view as like a pro thank you very much for watching this video